Hi, my name is Craig Rashad and I am the Electrical Instructor. We've made videos on general lighting. We did also a video on fixed appliances. We did another video on dryers and ranges. We've done another video on heating and AC and how to size the largest motor. This is the last of a load calculation and what we need to do. So what does all this information mean? Well, if you haven't already gone through a class, you probably don't know, but this video will put it all together. If you watched all the other videos, thank you. But if you watched all the other videos also, you would know that we came up with total numbers. What I did is I put the total numbers on the board and I'm going to show you, taking all those videos together, how we put it together to size our breakers. Line 9, general lighting load. That was our first video. 5,625 VA. Fixed appliances was our second video. That is line 10. We came up with 6,119.25 VA. Dryers and ranges was our next video. Line 11 is our dryers. We used a 5,000 watt VA dryer. Line 12 is our range, and we calculated that 15,000 K range down to 9,200 VA. We did line 13, which is heating and air conditioning. We sized the largest. We came up with electric heat being the largest at 9,000 VA. And line 14, we used the compactor out of our fixed appliances because we could not use the AC. So we came up with, in line 14, 396.75. Now we have all this information, what do we do with it? Well, it's very simple. We actually take line 9 through line 14 and we add them together. Let's do that. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to add lines 9 through 11, and that's going to give us our total VA. Total VA, when adding all these together, gives us 35,341. Now, now that we know what total VA is, now what we have to do is we have to find the total amps. How do we do that? Well, let's think about this. A typical service pretty much all over the United States, is a 240 volt single phase service. So, if we do basic Ohm's Law, which again, if you haven't watched the video, go back and check our Ohm's Law, which will go over um, how to solve for simple Ohm's Law, and we're going to find amperage by taking our total VA, which again equals correct watts, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to divide it by 240 volts. When we take the total amps and we divide it by our volts, we get 147.25 amps. Now, now that we've found what our total amperage is, now we have to size the breaker. Well, we know that if we looked in the code book, we'd have to go to a specific article. And which article is that? It's article 240.6. That gives us standard breaker sizes and fuses. So what we're looking for is we have to look for the next breaker size. And if you open up your code book and you look at 240.6, we're going to actually take this 147 amp breaker and we're going to install... A 150 amp breaker. It's very simple. Once we, once we find all our totals and we understand how every line is broken down, all we have to do is simply add and do basic Ohm's law. Now, this is for a load calculation for a single family dwelling so that we understand how to size our feeder breaker. I hope these videos have helped you. 
do me a favor. If this video helped you and, made, and helped you understand how we do a service calculation, do me a favor, hit the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We've got new things coming out every week, every Monday and Thursday to keep you all up to date on what's going on in the electrical field. I hope all of this has helped you. Do me a favor. Hit the like, subscribe, and remember, Craig Mashaw, the electrical instructor. Have a great day and be safe.